first of all, to the question, which uh, is very pertinent uh, and has been. Uh, what we see today, first, President uh, Sisekedi put a sense of urgency to the problem of security and instability that have been going on for many years. The sense of urgency is to be seen in therefore that action which he referred to of having a state of emergency in the region that has been affected not only just recently but for a long time in the past. A state of emergency really in itself is a message that this is a serious matter that has to be dealt with. And I think he did right to do that. So you're also right that it is not just about carrying a sense of emergency, it has to be followed by a number of actions that therefore uh, are aimed at dealing with the problem itself. I will come to that. But before I do, let me say that the lack of security and peace and the instability that have characterized either this part of DRC or our own country, Rwanda, in its history and continuing to grapple with making sure that we come to uh, create stability in our own country. And you cannot have stability in your own country if a neighboring country, a brotherly country, doesn't have stability. But both of us agree, President Chisekede and myself, that lack of security and peace and instability cannot be things that are going to be permanent in our both both of our countries. Neither should this be a situation that we come to get used to and live with uh, as a normal way of living our lives. So something must be done. And it starts with what the President decided and also what is going to be the follow-on actions that I am sure have already started uh, of actually dealing with the root causes of this instability, dealing with the groups that uh, cause instability in this region. Um, and it is going to be much better if, therefore, all of us work together. Uh, Rwanda can make its own contribution uh, as of the situation itself, but also what will be decided by uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, within its sovereign rights. Uh, it works with people from anywhere, neighbors and beyond, uh, to deal with whatever problems that affect us. So this cooperation we are emphasizing, <coughs> the two leaders, uh, goes in that direction. It's saying what, what can you give, what can you take uh, in this uh, area of cooperation so that ultimately we have our people uh, both Congolese and Rwandese, uh, working together, working towards uh, uh, fighting the common challenges or enemies uh, so that we really 
uh, move towards uh, development that we are. So Rwanda we, we is ready to provide or to associate ourselves with DRC in whatever form within our means to towards this uh, challenge. We, we, uh, therefore, these are things we don't necessarily discuss publicly in the, or in the media until we have really worked on them and planned. And I'm, I'm only talking about the readiness, first of all, that is there for the two countries to cooperate. So this readiness on our part to play our part, whichever way uh, we have to address the problem. If it is uh, anything originating from Rwanda, I'm happy to and ready to solicit the support uh, of the DRC and the president to make the contribution that can enable us to address any problem. So it, it, it is both ways, it is two ways. And we have the means, we have the knowledge about our problems, we have the will to cooperate. We, I, I don't see how we can fail. Uh, and we, we don't want to fail our people, uh, the people of the RSC or the people of Rwanda, as the President said, have waited for too long uh, to have some of these challenges addressed. So we are, we are up to the job and we will do our part. Thank you so much, uh, His Excellency, Mr. Paul Kagame.